Hey, what's up, guys? It's Yusuf Patel, just speaking from Dynasty Capital Management, founder and lead hedge fund trader, manage funds for high net worth individuals looking for outstanding returns on a weekly basis. Now, as promised to you guys, um, to set up your charts on Meter Trader 4. If you're new here to the Dynasty Family Forest Group, make sure to click uh, join our group and click on all the videos to understand what the hell is going on in Forex. It's absolutely free. But for now, we're going to be talking about how to set up your charts using the Meter Trader 4 mobile trading app application okay so um first things first i'm going to click onto this account um right now so at the very bottom is your quotes then you got your charts right then you got your trades history and settings now depending on iphone or whatever device that you're on uh what i'm going to really do right now is i'm going to click on settings because it's completely um i would say um stock right now let's do the settings so i'm going to go to click on settings as you can see this is a live trading account <coughs> look at my history is today only um, um basically the profit 120,000 rand deposit profit 16,000 rand just for today only on gold cells and a few other trades but um not of that as you can see it's live paper stone live okay um let's do the settings right now the first things first that we're going to do is click on the settings on your meter trader 4 app um pardon me just a second and we're going to go to the chart setup right here okay once you click the chart make sure you select the candlestick okay i'm gonna click um volumes off okay uh it's gonna see some quickly refresh uh just a second yeah so i'm gonna have my volumes set off um okay um you know we're gonna go to colors now when you click colors um this is what i want you guys to do i want your scheme to be custom okay my foreground for this particular one is gonna make it i'm gonna make it like a gray okay so I'm gonna click save them my grid i'm gonna make that black okay so we got a black grid my bar up um i'm gonna make this well i would say a much lighter color bar down same thing you guys can do it it's all up to you bar down okay my bull candle is gonna be um I'm actually going to select this as extremely white color so white and bear candle also white as well okay my line chart uh chart line is going to be green volumes can stick as um let's say a grayish i don't know why i just like it just show something so much clearer bid price i'm going to make this uh maybe like a violet color ask price line i'll make this maroon i don't know why i don't like looking at the red so much so trade levels um uh that's fine so once you click chart and we go and refresh go back to our charts you won't see a big difference right now okay it's just everything is just white at the moment but um what we're gonna do now is um we're gonna go onto our charts all right and when you tap up here at the very top sorry not that one um uh just your indicators okay i'm gonna select indicators and this is the most important part so just a second i just want to okay so what i'm going to add now is i'm just going to remove this okay um sorry edit i'm going to remove the relative strength index and i'm starting off from scratch now in this particular one i'm in the main window i'm going to add a moving average okay i'm going to make this moving average a five level five the shift zero method exponential okay apply to close only no levels um i'm gonna make the style three pixels okay and i'm gonna select this color as the mustard or i call it that's what i call it the mustard but i'm just gonna make it um yeah right so we're done so what this basically means a uh, moving average is it adds that line now so it tells you what price has done um according to the hour i'll do a video on that um soon very soon but for now this video is just about setting up the charts right so um we're gonna go back and tap on indicators um we're gonna be selecting another moving average um this this time i'm gonna be on main widow moving average we're gonna select the next one as a period of 200 okay um the shift will be zero exponential apply to close the style this particular one i'm gonna make this white okay three pixels save done now we're gonna go back again 
as you can see it added the white moving average um moving averages can be used as support and resistance as well but i'll get to that as soon as we done setting up all charts um we're going to be continuing again adding the third moving average uh so click on main widow moving average this one is going to be the 50 moving average very important exponential close this one here i'm going to make this color of mine blue okay so the style will be three pixels as well make sure it selects three pixels done now we've got the blue moving average now same there's going to be five moving averages that we're going to be using so the next one is going to end up um number four which is going to be the 800 moving average so um here we go I'm just going to select this as 800 i'm going to make this that's by the close okay done okay so now we got our four moving averages if we just take a look quickly four moving averages and the last but not least moving average is going to be the 13 moving average that i like to use as well so um moving average you can select this one as 13 because we selected a new one shift zero exponential apply to close and i'm gonna make this one red okay so now that we have all of that applied to our charts okay um the next thing i would like to for you guys to do is actually go back into your settings and we're going to add fractals now what are fractals um i'll show you guys now tap on main widow select fractals at the very bottom under um yeah here we go and i'm going to make my fractals maybe publish or so click save now what fractals are basically can you see these dots that it made you like for example there over there this is basically support and resistance within support and resistance okay like you can see if you can't see your fractals very clearly then what i suggest you do is going back to your settings indicators select the fractals and on the style make sure the pixel is much bigger so you get on sorry about that click save done see now we see proper fractals so this is like a main area of resistance as you can see found support here so it's very useful practicals in training as you can see at the very top let's switch over to the h4 time frame um in this particular page shows you that the practical actually came up i mean um there's a practical here right now at the moment um for the h4 time frame um at the very top now i decided to also sell gold over here because i decided to reach optimal peak levels as you can see right here those three there and you as well so this is why i'm shorting gold at the moment um so yeah those are practicals so very very nice and helpful and handy um so i'm just going to be switching back to the m15 time frame because i love using the m15 time frame now the next thing i'm going to be doing is going back into your indicators and at the bottom i mean main widow we're going to touch this here and select the relative strength index so relative strength index what this basically means is overbought and oversold so I'm going to be selecting my one to the 21 21 period i'm going to apply it to the close my style is going to be um i'm going to make this lime green i just love lime green uh at four pixels right okay so i'm just gonna hit save for now um the levels now that we're going to be adding this is very very important so level one is going to be um we'll set this as 100 i'll show you what this means in a few minutes level two is going to be um 72 level three will be um 68 level four will be 50 which is neutral price okay 100 means over oversold all right 50 means neutral price um let's continue going sorry i had it i'm gonna be selecting this as 32 The next one will be um 28 28 and the last but not least is a zero which is overbought okay so i'm gonna select zero um and the style to it i'm gonna be selecting maybe like a limeish green as well maybe at one pixel so i'm gonna click save um this description so you can write your at 72 you can write your oversold right so you know on your chart oversold um at the 50 level you can write neutral neutral price 
and at the very bottom number one you can write overbought okay or or you can even write this as best entry entry and you can write this as entry as well you can even write buy now at this level and sell now at this level okay this was one strategy and then we're going to click done so what we see right now is that we have all moving averages in place right here so ideally look at gold you can see like if you look at the gold charts right this is what the relative strength index does it lets you know when's a nice opportunity to buy and when's a nice opportunity to sell you wouldn't want to be buying or selling in the middle of this and that's when you enter a trade too late so ideally if you look at the m15 time frame it shows you right now that it's oversold so you would actually want to sell at this point sure but if you also switch over on gold to the h4 time frame it shows you that ideally now is the correct time to be selling as well because it's well you can sell now or it ideally it could go up to this level of here the 72 okay so moving averages um i mean uh, the relative strength index window is actually pretty decent and something nice to use now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go back come out of this sorry i'm going to go uh to the back to the m15 time frame so we can see what's going on now that we have our um relative strength index set up I'm going to be adding a new moving average so i'm going to go to settings um indicators new one more moving average this is for the B, this is going to be for the relative strength index so we're going to select the moving average the period is going to be seven okay um apply to here we go just a second um sorry just a second let's gonna go back so i'm gonna click this one here and i'm gonna select the moving average sorry where is it okay so um what we're gonna do now is um sorry guys you just tap there go to indicators now instead of tapping on the main window up here no we're gonna select the indicator we know this one here we're gonna tap here and we're gonna click add a moving average okay uh, this one is going to be 7. It marks down to 7. The shift is going to be 0. It's going to be a simple moving average. Okay, and I want to apply to the first indicator's data. Okay, I'm going to make this one 3 pixels. And I'm going to select the color maybe as something like, or maybe a violet as well. Very nice color. Stands out, gives you more of that darkish feel. And click done. Now, what you basically see here is a moving average as well. That's in with the price so ideally when the moving average crosses like at this particular point right here it's an ideal opportunity to sell whereas if it crosses at the bottom it's an ideal opportunity to buy this is also known as a tdi that i set up for you guys known as a traders dynamic index um so you can see overbought or oversold um the next thing i want to actually do is go back onto settings um indicators and add under indicator widow right here i'm going to click that and select the boiling bands now boiling bands are basically support and resistance as well for the relative strength index if that makes sense so once you go to boiling band um the period i'm going to select is 34 i find that to be the most accurate the shift is going to be zero 2000 deviation is fine apply to the first indicators data as well meaning for the relative strength index now the style that i'm going to be using is going to be for well um four megapixels four pixels sorry and i'm going to be selecting the color blue well this color or maybe even a green as well something like this it's i don't know i just like these colors um hit save now basically this is what you have but okay maybe the green is a bit too out of line so i'm going to select uh, the purple i'm just going to go back edit my colors as well real quick avoiding the bands and make us a purple save done see that looks actually kind of looks a little sick eh? um alternatively you can change the color of your bull and bearish candlesticks by going back to your settings going to charts um and under colors so your bull candlestick you can make this um let's see like this and your bear candle you can make this maybe like something like that and 
just click charts refresh and if you look at your charts see it actually looks pretty dope now if you show your friends your meter share forward they don't think you're a fucking rookie you get what i'm saying they actually look quite professional within um and that's it for now on how to set up your charts guys try not try not to have everybody's charts should be the same if you want under your boiling of bands as well you can just tap settings uh, indicators and um sorry your relative strength index under your levels like where you have oversold and like you can add your name like you can add um the notorious or whatever your name is and you can even add uh, for example go back to like see it says notorious fx at the bottom uh, <laughs> custom um, you can also go back to indicators and it would be pretty nice if you didn't <laughs> add um, on your relative strength index under levels and select dynasty family. Guys, I swear to you, all those thoughts are just sound effects I was adding to the videos to make you guys laugh. Click add. Now we have dynasty family in it as well, as you can see at the very bottom. And you can see the chart layout is pretty awesome. Uh, for those of you who are asking me how to open up a demo account, the first thing you need to do is just download the app called MeterTrader 4 from your App Store or Play Store. Okay, and once you're on it,